Hello again guys, welcome to another review video for the Idol Master subs, where we tackle content related to the Idol Master in any shape or form. In most of the Idol Master games, the player takes the role of the producer, and always there is someone there to assist us in the daily tasks. And today, we will discuss a topic that is overlooked most of the time when it comes to Idol Master content, and that is the green portion of the Idol Master. We're talking about the secretaries. Each of the productions of Idolmaster all have their own secretaries, and they have different characteristics that help define them and why they belong to each production. To enumerate, here are the secretaries for each production. For 765 All Stars, we have Kotori Otonashi. For the 765 Million Stars, we have Misaki Aoba. For 346 Cinderella Girls, we have Chihiro Senkawa. For 315 Psycho Productions, we have Ken Yamamura. And for 283 Tsubasa Productions, we have Hazuki Nanakusa. Kotori Otanashi is the secretary for the first generation of the 765 production. She is the classic secretary who has classic idol experience. She has a large amount of history within the series and her own manga, which is titled Asayake wa Koganeiro. This manga details Kotori's previous life as an idol and is filled with many dramatic parts of her story that I believe Kotori fans would love to know. She is a fan of idols back then and she wanted to be one herself and when she did take up the job of becoming a secretary, she wanted to do her absolute best. Kotori is someone who is very fond of daydreaming and mostly finds herself in situations of dreaming of things that rarely ever happen. This may also allude to her imagining situations of somewhat yaoi undertones with different members of her production staff. Nevertheless, Kotori is very hardworking and wishes only the best for the All-Stars. With the introduction of Million Live Theater Days, it seemed like the 765 cast of 39 new idols needed some help in production, and a secretary that would be in addition to Kotori deemed necessary. Misaki Aoba is the younger of the secretaries and treats Kotori like a mentor. Unlike Kotori, however, Misaki has no prior idol experience and is more fresh and young. But she has unique skills in other aspects, like tailoring and making costumes. This is regularly seen in the Theater Days game, where you would go to certain parts of the theater, and Aoba is seen stitching together some costumes or designing a new one altogether. Aoba wants to learn as much as she can, and she looks up to Kotori to find the best ways to do that. Meanwhile, in 346 production, a large-scale production company with many idols and producers, Chihiro is the secretary, and Chihiro is the secretary in charge of the biggest production, and hence, she has to have a more industrial mindset. She is the butt of many jokes and memes as being greedy for money, such as just wanting to get your gasha money, or every time there's a new gasha, Chihiro would be made the representative of the greedy company. But actually, Chihiro is much more innocent than that, and loves cosplay. If I were to imagine, Chihiro would love to wear the costumes of each of the Cinderella girls herself, but due to her position of being a secretary, she isn't allowed to do that. Poor Chihiro. In 315 Psycho Production, an agency focused on male idols, Ken Yamamura is the aptly appropriate male secretary. Ken is the secretary in charge of handling male idols who are more grown than him and is known to have regular slip-ups. He is a very competent secretary, but due to being easily distracted, the office usually apprehends him. The biggest joke concerning Ken was once the side dem game. The server soon went into maintenance, and the joke was that Ken made a really big mistake setting up the office, and that joke stayed with him forever. Last but certainly not the least, we have the secretary from 283 production, the latest Idolmaster series that has been added, Shiny Colors, Hazuki. Hazuki is the motherly secretary who is capable of all kinds of work, like makeup, vocal lessons, and dance lessons herself. She seems like a superwoman, but is always sleepy and seems to have a side job. It has also been hinted that she is in a relationship with the president of 283 Productions, but that is also unconfirmed. The secretaries of Idolmaster have a very important role in each of the games because they are representatives of most things relating to information. If there is a new announcement, they're in charge of handling them, they're also representing the Gasha, and they handle most of the social media accounts. If you go onto Twitter and Facebook and all those other places that have social media, 
you'll see the secretaries as the main representative of each series. So if you are looking for information relating to a certain Idol Master series or branch, you'll need to look for the secretaries because they're the ones who will guide you. As important little bits of very funny information, would you like to know that the secretaries are actually also capable of singing? In Kotori's case, she performed in one episode of the original 765 All-Stars anime and performed at a bar club, or a restaurant if I'm correct. Chihiro was able to actually sing and dance the main theme song of Cinderella Girl's Onegai Cinderella as an April Fool's joke where she showed up on the stage with an actual 3D model and was able to dance the song. Ken Yamamura actually recorded a group song along with the president of 315 Productions himself and this became one of the series' most loved 315 side M songs. Nanakusi Hazuki and Misaki Aoba are still yet to perform, but judging by how they allowed all the other secretaries to perform themselves, we can expect Hazuki and Aoba to perform very soon. So, now that you've learned more about the secretaries or the green representatives of the Idol Master and how much assistance they provide to us producers, we hope that moving forward from this video, you provide more appreciation and respect towards the secretaries. Our jobs as producers would be extremely difficult without the help of the green representatives, and we are very thankful for them having around them. This has been the Idolmaster Subs, and we hope you stick around for the next review video.